I'd have to wait till nighttime to see it, but somewhere out beyond those clouds, there was a comet in the sky. In the meantime, though, there was lots to take pictures of, like these pelicans at Frank Lake. And these phalaropes relaxed on a slough by Brant. The marbled godwits, well, they just plain argued. Canola fields glowed in the warm afternoon sun. And these brewers' blackbirds found a puddle they could have a bath in. The late day sun caught the velvet on these mule deer bucks antlers. And close by them, a young ferruginous hawk stared at me from the grass. And just before sunset, I found these guys. A couple of young red foxes that were living in a stack of huge bales. They were full on teenagers, all curiosity and big ears and long lanky legs. <laughs> cool looking little guys. Evening was settling in now and the sky above Clear Lake, east of Staveley, was catching the last of the daytime glow. This family of ferruginous hawks was settling in for the night and the sky was fading from blue toward black as the mosquitoes began their nightly raid. I followed my headlights eastward as the darkness grew, and then all of a sudden, there it was. Comet Neowise. It was too dark by then for video to work, but the long exposures that the still pictures required made the comet's glow look even brighter. It made a lot of other light brighter, too. That glow in those clouds, that's Calgary, 150 kilometers away. And this, just on the other side of Carmen Gay, is the Milky Way, a couple of billion kilometers away. But by, oh, around three o'clock in the morning, the eastern sky was starting to glow. At Blackie, the sky was now just too bright to see the comet. And heading toward Harrington, the sunrise faded the sky even more. Ten minutes later, even bright Venus was gone, and everything was a sunrise glow. But Comet Neowise was still out there, still in the sky, still on its long, long journey back around the sun. It won't be back in our skies for, oh, another 6,800 years. But hey, Neowise, thanks for stopping by. Catch you again next time.